it's Christmas time almost so now we're going to get into these Christmas videos right now <laughs> hey guys how you doing I told you not to count on it being lows for the first video because you never know what happens Macy's has 50% off all of their Christmas decor for a limited time I have no idea how long it's going to last so I wanted to make sure I got this one out first so let's get into this Macy's Christmas Wonderland 2022 I want to start off by saying when I was in there that a worker informed me that this Macy's at one point in time was the highest grossing Macy's in the country. It was years ago. They had fallen off a lot. Personally, I think it's due to management. That's neither here nor there. And I say that to say because a worker told me that everything that they have in now for Christmas is all that they're getting. They're not getting anything else. And she was like, I'm trying to warn people and let everybody know. So if this Macy's is still a priority Macy's, then I'm going to go out on a limb and say most Macy's aren't getting anything else in if this one isn't. So that's another reason why I really wanted to get this out. If everything is 50% off. Now as of me, this time right now when we recording, it's the, like the day before I'm uploading it, it's still 50% off. And the fact that they're not getting anything else in, this is it. I think you should genuinely consider going to Macy's as soon as possible to get this because now that it's November, everybody's going to be doing their Christmas shopping starting... <laughs> <laughs> November 1st like today they're going to start it so I really do I know I say it a lot but if this is all they're getting in and we have two months to go for Christmas that's not going to be that much stuff that's about left by the time Thanksgiving is over and Christmas season really um, is in full swing so go out and get your stuff now because who knows how long 50% is going to last and who knows how long your Macy's will even have anything There is so much stuff in this in this store. When I stood there at the end of the hall and I looked down, I was like, I'm a little, at first, I was, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little overwhelmed because I said, this is so much stuff for me to get. But thankfully, I went at a time, I said, let me go now at this time because if I go now, nobody will be in my way because this floor during Christmas is crazy packed because we have a lot, like a whole bunch of things that go on at this Macy's. There is like no room to walk. So I said, this is the perfect time. It was still at, like the end of October. So let me get in there now and I was a little little intimidated by all the stuff I had to film but I actually went from one end of the, the one end of the hall to the other so there is a lot of stuff to show in these videos so that's why I decided to just go ahead and split these up into two because if I would have put everything in one video it would have been like an hour long and there was no way in the world I didn't even want it to be 30 minutes I wanted it to be like 20 minutes I try to make all my videos 20 minutes but as you see that never works out so part one is roughly 30 minutes and I'm assuming part two will be roughly 30 minutes because it's literally once I said I'm not going to pass 30 minutes once I got to the 30 minute mark there were 50% of the videos were still left for me to edit so this should be 30 and the next one should be 30 and because it's so much stuff to film a lot of the stuff I did some of the stuff I just didn't even show the prices because <laughs> it just would have been just it just would have been too much However, I did try to get the prices of everything around it so that you can get the general idea of how much it probably will, call, probably will cost. Most of the stuff, shockingly, pat myself on the back, I did get the prices of, the th of these things. So, and my camera was acting up a lot on top of it, but hey, I pushed it through. So most of the prices you'll see, but if you don't see the price, just the things that are around it, they're around the same price, give or take a few dollars. So I wanted to make sure that you got a general idea. These black Christmas balls are so gorgeous. I wanted my, I want uh, my plans are, I don't know how well it's gonna work out. It's for my living room to be silver and gold, but with the tree, I wanted to add black. I saw these black Christmas ornaments in Walmart of all places, and I was like, ooh, black. I never, and usually I'll be like, oh, that's too dark. I, and I never really seen black, but it made me want to put black on there. So I want my tree to be like silver, gold, and black. And I, when I was, <laughs> the funny part is when I was editing this video, 
I said, when did on, when on earth did I see that? I don't even remember seeing those ornaments. And I'm telling you, when I got here, it was thankfully it was like a, a good hour. So I filmed all of this. And then once I was done filming, since they're not getting anything else in and it's 50% off for a limited time, I actually was able to go back and shop and get ornaments. I got a bunch of ornaments. I'm going to go back and get more ornaments. But I was cracking up at myself because I'm like, when did I pick those up? Those are gorgeous. So I, I want to get those. But it's like only four in a pack. I need way more than that. So I'm like, those are better looking than Walmart's. But then it's like Walmart, you get more. So I'm trying. I'm probably going to go and see if I can get some from Hobby Lobby or Big Lots, Michael, someplace like that. Because those are nice, but I need more. And I'm not going to pay that amount of money for four when I can get more and still have them. They might not be as cute, but they can still be cute. So the majority, actually you know, all of their large Santas are $92. You'll see in another clip when I get some more Santas straight out of the gate, I'll let you know the large ones are $92 for the regular ticket price. So it's not going to be any higher today and they are not going to be any lower than that. So you can either get the ones from here or you can go to Ross or something and get the ones from there for much cheaper. Just saying, just saying, just saying. They have a huge ornament selection and it didn't hit me until I was watching the videos back that Macy's decor is really mostly ornaments. Like I don't know about on online, I have, I've never shopped at Christmas online, but watching it I'm like, um, where's everything else? Okay, they have nothing, they have plenty of ornaments, you're going to have plenty of stuff for your trees. However, they don't have wall signs, they don't have table signs. They are very limited on centerpieces. They have nothing for outdoors. They have nothing for the yard. So I'm just like, um, Macy's, um, tap, tap, tap on the mic. Y'all need to step y'all game up because where is everything? I know you're supposed to be, you know, that kind of store, but you mean to tell me you can't have anything else? You can't have no signs? You can't have nothing? Like, that's kind of pitiful. Like, you, they had some nice stuff there. They have better quality than some, some, than some stores. It's not all that exceptional for some of them prices. I'm not going to lie. But to on, pretty much only have ornaments, that's kind of silly. And they, like, y'all really, I hope somebody's watching this. Can y'all please start doing more with your Christmas? Because this is very limited. And you you guys have cute stuff. So do more. And you'll you'll make more money if you sell more items. And Because this is just goofy. I'm sorry. Like, that's it? Nah. Come on. Come on, Macy's. I do want these handbags though. When I saw these in the store, I first went in there, I had to use the bathroom <laughs> like the week before I filmed and I went on this floor. I went to be newsy. I said, I bet you they got Christmas up and sure enough, they had Christmas up and I saw these purses and the black one is okay, but that gold one, I want that purse. I didn't get it when I was shopping, which I was like, all right, I'm just gonna get some now to hold me over. So if I come back and the seller's over, it's like some things that I'll get it whether the seller's there or not. But it's like, those, I didn't realize the purse called, cost $22. So maybe I should have gotten the purse ornaments first because I got like, I got the little Paris Eiffel Tower here. I'm like, maybe I should have gotten the more expensive ones with the 50 off instead of the cheaper ones. That would have made a lot more sense. But I'm so loving the purse one. But I did put on, I did actually take some of the ornaments that I like and I put them on the trees here. They do have trees here to see how I like it. And some of them just didn't look good on the trees. Not because they look bad, but it just didn't work. I, it felt like if I were to use it on a tree, it would kind of just look like they were just sitting there. I've had ornaments like that in the past where I got really cute ones and then I put them on a tree and they just look like they're just there for what reason. So I feel like with certain ornaments, you have to go all out with it. Like just have them everywhere. And then with other ornaments, you can just be subtle. But then some, some is just like, why is it on there? So I, I want to get the handbag. But I'm kind of like, is it just going to end up just sitting there and looking weird? I don't know. The passport, I love the passport too. It is very cute and creative. And I would put it on my tree, but I'm not doing blue. But it's like, you know, if everything's 50 off, I'm also thinking about what, what I might want to do in the future. 
if it's on sale now i don't usually shop shop macy's until after christmas but i'm like you know what it's the first time i've shopped macy's christmas be way before christmas so who knows but yeah the purse i don't know but the purple i love this purple collection they have two they have this like the regular just ornaments that are purple and then they have like purple flamingo like not flamingos peacocks i didn't like the peacock collection but these purples oh I was tempted to just change my whole color scheme and just make it purple. I've never, I don't like loud colors for Christmas, I can't lie. And I feel like for Christmas, purple would be a loud color, just like pink and stuff like that. I don't like Christmases like that. But I think on a tree, you can get away with whatever you want. So I was tempted to just say, you know what, screw the silver, gold, and black. I'm going to go with purple. Their purple is so beautiful. And then the deer, I actually had some deer in my hand, but then I put the deer on a tree and it was none of one of those ornaments. It doesn't look bad, but I'm like, how many would I need for it to look right? And would it, I just couldn't tell. But the, the ornament, the purple ornaments, the shade of purple they used was beautiful. I'm a purple gal. I love me some purple and they got the purple right. Whoever did this line, love the color, shout out to you. And the little deer, they look like they're so expensive. They're very light though. They're very light, but I will say some of these ornaments are delicate, so be careful when you use them because they will break very easily. And this is the holy section of <laughs> the shopping. They do have the uh, nativity figu figurines and the Christian based figurines, which they had a whole little bookcase section i like that but the, these figurines are not cheap they, they're never cheap i don't know why they, why they cost so much like in general but they are not cheap i think the cheapest one here is 60 dollars, and that's before the sale price though so it is 50 percent off you know you got some it's 100 160 but it's 50 percent off but figurines are not cheap but honestly they're these are nice but you could also just a little hint going to goodwill now because around if you shop in goodwill you have one near you because this is around the time where people start clearing out their christmas i went there a couple days ago or a week ago it was nothing but figurines in there so you definitely can find christmas figurines in goodwill i actually i got one from there years ago and i use it every christmas so go in there and check for figurines now because the closer it gets to christmas it's actually harder to find them but macy's has a very wide selection some with just you know mary joseph jesus some with the whole shebang some that are just angels but they're gonna they're a little bit pricier because they aren't figurines are not cheap but they're 50 percent off If you're into nutcrackers i know some people collect nutcrackers or like to have nutcrackers as like a crucial part of their theme during christmas so they do have different nutcrackers colors sizes and themes they don't really kind of like hobby lobby has a lot of silly ones that aren't even necessarily it's a nutcracker but he's not even dressed for christmas but macy's does have a variety so if you're looking for nutcrackers this is a good place to start and since they're like 60 plus dollars it's a good time to shop in there with the 50% off. And they also come in different races. Like a, a lot of the stuff, like the Santas and the Nutcrackers, it's pretty much just black and white and the angels are black and white. I think there might've been an Asian angel or I've seen it before, they might've they might sold out actually. So I actually did appreciate the fact that Macy's had multiple races and not just white, no offense. <laughs> so it was nice to see that. So you can get those and just have the variety or get, get, it, or get all the races and just have a little rainbow. There you go. With the cell, Macy's has, first of all, this is the Peacock collection. I'll get to that later. This is the Peacock collection that is purple and blue. So if you're doing purple and blue, you definitely have the option. It doesn't really feel Christmas. I can't think of what it is it feels like to me. I mean, I think it's like maybe Genie. 
like something about it is genie to me i don't know what i saw that made me think genie is making me think something else and i can't put my finger on it but they have a peacock collection that's an interesting choice for christmas but they have it if you want the bright colors or that loud theme the here you are this is a section for you the peacock was done really well though and it's very intricate they put a lot of detailing on it and so i thought that was very well done even though it's not necessarily for me and like they had the santas they had the ornaments they had the little trees i even think they had a small wreath that actually wasn't that expensive so if you're looking for something loud or something that's not traditional and that is different i suggest you shop this collection because you ain't gonna get more different than this in macy's this is the most interesting collection that they had there Now, is it just me or does this reef look like it has like Easter eggs stuck inside? It looks like a, a Easter reef with dyed Easter eggs. It doesn't look Christmas at all. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. It could be. But anyway, this is the other wreath. I don't really get this one. It's very loaded, I would say. Like the peacock. I think what it's supposed to be is a peacock with the feathers all around and a flower. That's what it appears to be. But for I, I feel like it's a little packed on there i think maybe they had one or two things too many but you know hey different strokes for different folks what i did do in this video i showed they have in your macy's i'm sure they do the same thing they have a bunch of trees that are already decorated so i try to show all of the christmas trees that they have in between all of the displays so that you can kind of get an idea of how you can use the ornaments that are here or so you can get an idea of how you can do up your tree in general even if you don't use those ornaments like color schemes and all that each tree is like themed it seemed like one was red then it had a white and blue and purple and all that and so whatever like you can just look at the tree and figure out how you can put it in there or what ornaments might go with what if you can see it on there but i will say when you go into macy's i've figured out that not all the ornaments on the trees are actually up on the shelves or in the cases some of the ornaments on the trees are just on the trees they're nowhere else so i guess I don't know if that's because they didn't have enough to put out or they didn't have enough space. That's my guess is that it's so much stuff out there. They simply didn't have enough space to put them up on the hooks next to the other ornaments. So they just put them on the trees. So when you look at the trees, when you go into your Macy's, make sure if it's something, it, it, make sure you look and really look on the tree because it could be something on there that you haven't already seen. Because I, about a third tree, I figured out I'm seeing stuff that's not actually up on the hooks. That's not actually up in the cases. So there are two different sections for ornaments. They're not all up on the hooks some have it in the trees and all the trees are going to have different ornaments they do not repeat they are all different Looking at this with the way the Santa is sitting down, it just hit me. They didn't have any elves on the shelf. Uh, so if you're looking for that, this is not the store for you. Or maybe my, my Macy's simply didn't have it. But with all the stuff they have, I find it hard to believe. I'm trying to think. I never really like dove deep into Macy's Christmas decor. And so after Christmas, and it's usually like 50% gone. But do they usually do elf on the shelf? I don't know actually you know what i think they do because with my macy's we have like stuff that you can walk through and a display for this and storytelling and in those areas they actually have more christmas decor in those areas but that doesn't open for weeks yet so i'm wondering if when that section opens will they have the elf on the shelf in there it just hit me i think they have elves on the shelf in that section and they have more 
things that kids can use and they have more silly things so hmm I'm wondering so if you're Macy's like I know some Macy's do that that per city some cities might have different things they do it's not because of Macy's it's just the building that the Macy's is in traditionally has this thing like this the Macy's I'm in we usually have a light show and something for Scrooge and all of that so I'm wondering if your Macy's does stuff like that you should probably wait until that opens up because there's going to be more ornaments like they have like three four or five more trees that this in these sections and way more ornaments and way more things in there so when that opens up and I'm going to probably go through I go through every year I've been doing this since I was a baby if there's more stuff I'll even film that and I'll bring that to you because it just hit me there's definitely more that they put out and not just all this in this hall it's this long haul very long haul and then they do it in that section but it's always blocked off all year round until that opens up so when it opens up I'll bring it to you and we'll see what else they have And these are the rest of the ornaments for the Christmas collection uh, for the Peacock Christmas collection I should say so they did have a few more things I think I only missed a few large Christmas balls that were underneath the table but you probably can see them in the background when I show you the Peacock so it's not like crazy huge but each each collection is pretty much the same size And I believe this is the blue C collection. So all of this stuff is going to be blue, but it seems to be like at the shore theme because they have like turtles, seashells, pearls, and all that stuff. So like I said, a little bit of everything for everybody, but I will say the clam with the pearl, oh my goodness, that is so beautiful. I've never seen an ornament like that before. You might have, I haven't. I think this collection actually is probably, I know people in Florida probably get sick of it being like water themed, but if you're in Florida, or you by, you're by the sea like you're from a state or if you're in another country that's like surrounded by water or you're on a coast where the ocean is there or something that's probably a good collection for you I'm just saying it's all blue it doesn't deviate from blue and silver and white and this collection is for the hungry <laughs> I think they call this the sweet ornament collection I don't remember what it's called and here's a little jellyfish I think it's the sweet collection I don't remember but yeah they have like ice cream they have donuts, cakes, all that good stuff. So they even have it for the greedy people out there. <laughs> I am in love with this dove. It is so beautiful. I don't even know why I didn't get it. I think it's because I was trying to make sure I didn't get things that I know I wouldn't want to put them wouldn't want to put on my tree this year. I wanted to that's what it is. I wanted to just well, other than the reindeer because I did pick them up, the ones I mentioned earlier. I wanted to just stick with things that I actually legitimately wanted to put on my tree this year. And then later on, when I get the time, go back to Macy's and then get things that I just like in general so that whenever I want to use them or have this color scheme, I can use them. But some of this stuff was very beautiful but again I can tell if you drop any of this stuff I can't think of anything really on here that you can drop other than the ones in the beginning because they're a little they're not really made of glass per se but these ornaments are delicate 
So when you handle these, handle these with care or your money is going to shatter right before your feet. Not before your eyes, but before your feet. Because if you drop it, that's where it's going to land and that's where it's going to stay. I think this is like the frosted collection, the collection I just showed, and I think that's the best one they had. That one, and I love purple, so I'm personal purple. The frosted collection and the purple collection, I think they stand out the most to me. And the frosted, as I call it, frosted collection, they also have these roses. I don't know, it's, it's actually, it's not even hard. It's actually kind of made out of like a paper, like a plastic paper. I can't remember what it is. It's a specific paper that, that 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 I've had in the past that you use for something, and it's the exact material. But it's definitely not hard. It's not glass or anything like that. You can fold it up, squish it around. It sounds kind of like I don't know. I can't think of it. I wish I could think of this stuff when I'm recording. But anyway, they have the those two collections. I love them the best. I love them the most. And here we are with the gnomes. They don't have a huge selection of gnomes. So if you're looking for those. You can still find them here and the big gnome that thing was heavy i almost didn't i thought it was going to be light so when i first grabbed it i was i didn't put any effort into it and then i almost dropped it on the ground and it, it almost tumbled out, out of the little case because that thing has weight to it it's not going anywhere if you use that but these are the gnomes they had not a huge selection but if you're looking for them they do have them They have plenty of hooks for your stockings if you need those. I don't hang stockings so like, anymore. I used to hang them. But anyway, like if you need those, they have different varieties. I don't remember what the other ones were. You've seen them throughout this video. There were some in the beginning and I think there might be, might be one left in here. So they do have those. I never even really thought that, you know, since I don't hang them anymore, I, like, oh, we got the one stocking hanger each individually because I've seen it where you lay it across your mantle or your fireplace and it's just a long ring of them but they do have them in here the, the thing is they're only just one one at a time one each you don't have any that come with a whole roll so if you're looking for them you're going to have to buy multiple um, holders for all the stockings you're going to hang so that could add up but if you don't mind or it's in your budget it doesn't matter so they sell one stocking holder no packs nothing with a long ring I would have to call this the pastel collection so I'm trying to think I'm trying to let me see if I can get through all the collections they have frosted collection the blue frost collection so it's like ice um they have the purple collection they have the purple peacock collection they have the pastel this is pastel collection I think coming up they'll even have they even had no they didn't have a red collection they just had a red tree <laughs> they have I believe then they had the foodie, the sweets um, collection with the foods on there, all of the desserts. And I'm trying to challenge myself, guys. I'm more so talking to me than you. And they have, hmm, do they have Santa? They have a Santa collection. I don't think we got there yet. They have uh, gold. I think they have one that's just gold. And uh, they have one, I can't remember what it's supposed to be. It's kind of like a soft collection, like Yarny. Kind of like yarny. I'm making that a word. Yarny is like yarn. I don't remember, but they have. Let me see. I want to say maybe seven or eight collections. I don't remember, but they do have a variety, and I do like that because you don't have to just stick with traditional, and you don't have to just stick with unique. You can have a variety of things in a variety of colors, and whatever works for you is what you can buy.
All right, guys, so this is the end of part one. I'm going to post part two tomorrow or the next day to get this out there so you can run over to Macy's. Thank you for coming in and joining me in our first Christmas video of the season, and there will be plenty more to come. I counted it all. I don't know if I'm going to get to all of them, but there are in total, if I can get to them, 13 stores that I'm going to do. And I also want to do some shopping, Christmas shopping ideas with me. Go to different places to give you ideas, Toys R Us, stuff for men, Home Depot, whatever. So with that being said, I'm your hostess and empress, Nikki T. Thank you for visiting my empire. I will see you in the next one. Deuces, darlings.